and welcome to the continuation of it's a new month and now what episode two if you haven't done so already i do recommend that you watch episode one so that you don't end up feeling lost throughout this video but we're going to pick up right where i left off which was my social media planner Please do note that all of the details to the covers and whatnot were already listed or given out in the introduction part of this series so of course I'd like for you to check that video out as well and uh, what you saw me do there is take out my sterling ink month at a what is this I think three months per page um, monthly overviews which is where I like to plan out the ideas of the month um, that I have for my YouTube videos and I also took out my inbox slash brain dump journal because I had already jot down some ideas on there previously to this video and then I'm just going to scratch them off as I go once I've transferred them over so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to showcase a lot of what i do in my social media planner because i do want to keep um the future video ideas a surprise for you all but i still wanted to include the next step that i take after i finish planning my month out um in my everyday carry which was the personal gelio and it is what we did in the last episode and then here um you just see me put down some of those sweet caress transparent dots on the dates that i actually had a video go live and that was all done in my ideas section and for now we're going to be putting away my social media planner because i'm pretty much done with her and we're going to reference my monthly routine card once again because the next step here was to update my finances and or my finance planner so like i mentioned in the other videos the new addition is this a5 home binder slash extension planner and this is going to be what becomes my finance planner nowadays so we're going to open her up to get to the section but before i do that i did create a finance routine card to go along this binder just like i have for my edc so that i can follow a routine every time i open this up which is every month pretty much and i know that the letters are super tiny so here is a close-up um, of everything i've listed and this is everything i have to do on a monthly basis once again so i'm just gonna go right into it the first thing is to organize my receipts for any unnecessary spending i might have done throughout the month and so that's what you see me doing here and then i'll explain what it is that i do throughout all right, so organized receipts by date is pretty self-explanatory and that is what I'm going to be doing in my money talk section, which is the second divider in my binder. For the purpose of this video, I am only going to be working on my um, expenses. I usually do my boyfriends as well but i just didn't want to make this video so long and i forgot that i had some receipts laying in the back pocket of my binder so here i am taking and stretching those out to get ready to organize them by the date i want to take this time to point out that the receipts that i organize are only the ones that i keep for unnecessary spending I do set a budget for myself at the beginning of every month, which you didn't see me do that part on this series and you will not be seeing me do that because that's something that I don't really have experience explaining. And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about that. But moving on, this is the part that I dread the most. It takes me the longest and I don't love doing it but I find it necessary. I used to track every single penny I used to spend, but now I just decided to stick to the unnecessary since I already had that budget set in. And then I stack them up like this, and then I'm going to bring out my expenses sterling ink insert, which is where I'm going to log them in. 
that was a close-up of that insert and then here i was trying to show you that i used to do the same exact thing in these old peanuts planner co personal size one. So that used to be my finance planner. I was in a personal size, but I wanted something bigger. So that's why we are now moving on to better things. I also want to remake my key. I have categories for the unnecessary spending that I do. And here I'm counting how many colors I need. And since I do have this new Tombow markers that I wanted to use to color coordinate my um categories i'm going to also bring out this little old stencil that i have and create a key just like the one i had in my personal but now a little bigger so the categories i like to keep track of as far as unnecessary spending goes are things like food and then i do little subsections explaining what the big category pertains to examples are like takeout coffee snacks another category is my planner stuff so anything that has to do with hobbies stationery and mailing happy mail out that costs me of course um, another one is things like clothing which is footwear jewelry bags or purses and I decided to do gifts on here as well and then the fourth one is entertainment so anytime we do movies date night or girls night out so things like drinks and stuff like that and then last but not least i have self-care which is anything that has to do with doing my nails or eyebrow grooming just a little disclaimer so that it makes sense these are not categories that i am not allowing myself to spend on but these are the categories that i tend to spend the most on if that makes sense so even though obviously we need food every day I don't precisely want to spend my money on a takeout every single day knowing that I can cook at home and save some money there or I don't want to spend on you know going to a coffee shop when I can make coffee at home and whatnot so I hope that that makes sense but yeah moving on The next step I take is to finally go ahead and log them in. Since I already organized them by date, um, I like to put when I spend it, where I spend it, and how much I spent. So that's what you see me doing in the next couple of clips. And I also forgot to mention, well, I did say that I do this once a month. So what happens is at the beginning of a new month, which is what the episode is about, I am actually logging in all of the previous month's expenses. That makes sense, right? So it is July now. And so therefore, I am logging in everything I spent unnecessarily in June. Here you just see me highlighting according to the color I assigned to the category. So let's do that and I'll be right back. All done and here is a close up of how everything ended up looking. Next up a little reality check moment because are you guys ready for this? I like to go ahead and add all of the money spent on each category. Of course, I go in the order that I have my key on. In this case, we are going to do the food category first. So I'm going to add all of those orange corally um, highlight portions that I wrote on my insert. And then I'm going to highlight the bottom so that i can write out the total amount of everything i spent on food for the month of june that i probably shouldn't have and simply make it down the list of all of the categories i have decided to track
da 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 and here is the big reveal of everything i spent and then of course at the end of it all i like to add everything together for all categories and i ended up spending a whopping 262 dollars with 52 cents that i could have probably saved for the month and so now it's time to reflect and think about how it is that i can lessen that amount for the next month i'm also going to put away my receipts in this little box that i forgot where i got but i store it according to the number of the month in this case it was june i don't know why i put it behind six i think i was thinking of july but it goes behind number five because it's june so once i've done that and put it away the next thing is well here is just me putting back my insert as well as clipping my key to the side so that i can see it better and then i'm going to reference my finance routine card once again and check by the step by step of course we've already organized receipts We've looked over um, my expenses by categories. I did my color coding system. I did the bills overview and amounts um, not on screen because that's private information. The next up, I have to transfer paid bills into my filing system, which is this bad boy right here. And I do want to say that I have a whole highlight story of the entire detailed system over on my Instagram, which you can check out if you'd like. I always link my Instagram in the description box. So this is a filing little container that stores all of our bills, all of our paper bills, I should say. Let's say, for example, I get a bill in the mail. I go ahead and pay it. Whenever it's paid, I go ahead and bam, stamp it, and then I go ahead and store it in this container pertaining to the day. So since that already happened like back in the month, I already did that, like I said, but that is pretty much the gist of this system right here. It's neat. It keeps them organized by the date. I labeled them according to what they have inside, and I just love this thing. It's sits in the back of my um desk and i reach for it whenever i need it which is once a month so for comfort and privacy reasons i went ahead and skipped the last four of the mentions on the routine card but at the very end there is the one that says to stuff cash envelopes and then in parentheses i have weekly this is a responsibility my boyfriend has every month he stuffs our Dave Ramsey cash envelope system, which is this one right here. I use some clear envelopes that go in personal size binders and it's worked for us really good. I go ahead and take um, care of checking them weekly and that is pretty much it on that part. But that will conclude the monthly basis checking of this binder right here and then here is a close-up of all of the planners that we've used so far in the series it's a new month now what this is what i practically do every month um, so that i can get everything organized and you know get it going for the upcoming one and just kind of maintain a flow now that all of that is pretty much out of the way i can also go ahead and put away my monthly routine card from my edc because i will no longer have to reference this so this just comes to show you how much i rely on this little thing when it comes to my planning routine um per the month and then i do have a question for you all at the end of this video and it is if you would like to see my journal with me for the month of june as this would be my next step of of my monthly routine but I also understand that because it's not a planner per se um, a lot of you might not be interested and I totally understand so let me know in the comments down below but until then I'll catch you in my next one bye